total population of Canada down into a representative group of 100 people, the richest on the right, the poorest on the left. Here's what it looks like when we distribute the total wealth of all Canadians. That's roughly $8 trillion in 2012, distributed according to how Canadians think wealth should be divided. This looks pretty good. Now, here's how Canadians think wealth is actually distributed in Canada. In short, a lot more unequal. As bad as Canadians think inequality is, the reality is much worse. Let me explain. The most alarming thing about these results is that Canadians vastly underestimate the actual level of wealth inequality in Canada. think that class is no longer a relevant issue to understand Canadian society, but my research and that of others would suggest that that is not the case. So what I have found is that being working class really does make a difference to the experience of these young people. In some obvious ways, so they were stressed about money and financial issues when they came to university, but also in less obvious ways, so they talked about feeling a bit like cultural outsiders coming to university, the struggles of not having uh, role models in their own family who have gone to university and can tell them how things work.